Howdy folks. Um, so this is going to be a quick summary, a quick guide about what uh, we call short codes in WordPress um, and how you use them in the new Gutenberg aka block editor. And I need to give you a quick history lesson if you're new to all of this because this is a little bit like ancient history um, which I'm excited about but is worth noting. So before we had this cool block editor where I could do a a nice thing like uh, click here and be like oh you know what I want above this I want I want to put this uh, cool ninja form in and then I want to just select the form that I've already got to put it in there uh, we used to have to use this kind of antiquated technology um, I'm not sure if that ninja form is working right called a short code and the way a short code worked was that I put square brackets into the text of my post somewhere I've approximated it here with this p tag and then I might have to pass in some other parameters to that short code. And what would happen in the background is I'd have a plugin that had registered this David's coffee price short code and it would say calculate the price of coffee today on Amazon or something like that and pull it back and show it in this article. And so rather than me as the editor of the site having to go in and manually maintain this David's coffee price data on a daily basis and manually typing it in to my post, I could just have this short code manage that whole thing. All right, so that history out of the way, you know, the, like I mentioned, today you'd expect that there might be a short code already that I could write called David's Coffee Price, and there is plenty, plenty, plenty of reasons that that is actually the best thing for you to do, is to um, create a whole new block as a, if you're a developer, making a new block is the right thing here, but if you're not, you might still need to use this short code for a bunch of reasons. And surprise, surprise, there is a short code block in WordPress. So what I would do is just put in there something like David's coffee price. And this is a made up short code that I'm using, so we won't see this work here. But this is the basic concept that's going on when we talk about this. So I'm going to quickly coffee price calculator. I'm going to quickly save this post and then we can see how it behaves. And we'll see that because there isn't a short code here for David's coffee price, neither in my content nor down here did it correct, uh, fix it. But let's use something else. So we do have a ninja form on this site and ninja forms actually supports this as well. So ninja forms short codes look like this, ninja underscore form um, ID equals one, I believe. Let me double check that. Yep. So that's exactly how you'd write it in a classic short code. And we can also change it up here so we can test can we put a short code in a paragraph manually like we used to do it in the old days where the whole of an article was effectively like a Gutenberg paragraph? So if I save both of those, we can see which of either of these replaces. And what we discover here is that we got three contact forms. So that tells us two important lessons. One is that the uh, ninja form uh, short code injector works fine. That's what this block that's hidden is. I don't know that I think it's working very well for me right now. I feel like it should be showing me a preview, but that's a whole other topic. I can also tell that I can both put a short code inside of a p paragraph block and WordPress takes care of that for me, or I can use a special short code block and that works. And I know all of this to be true because when I go and look at my post in the preview, I see three different iterations of my contact form. So contact forms were one of the canonical cases where someone new to learning WordPress in the battle days had to understand what a short code was. We've now rounded that away and we saw that Ninja Forms contains that block. But if you're your, you know, a developer yourself or someone, a developer has handed you a plugin that they made sometime in the past and they're like, there's a short code in here. That is what this means. These square brackets added to a paragraph block, a short code block, or ideally using the new block that they have built into that plugin. So that's how short codes in Gutenberg work. Cheers.